Dan, to you, are there any apps where you might forego HTML5? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I did for my own app. I have an app that uh, NoteTaker HD, which mm -hmm. is for handwriting and zooming in and out of the handwriting and rendering on top of PDFs. And you just have to use the hardware and you're pushing it like crazy to mm -hmm. do that. Mm -hmm. And I had to go down to C for that, but it only runs on the iPad. And I get people asking me, why isn't it on Android? Well, I don't have time to put it on Android. <laughs> so clearly there are a lot of applications where the speed for certain controls matter and that HTML is just not as well suited. So you really have to understand what is easy to program in that particular system and what isn't? And what's the most important thing for your app? What is the thing that's going to make it or break it? And is that something that means that you have to go one way or the other? So Drew, if, if you're in our audience, how do you know which one of those camps you fall into? I would tell you that if you are going to do web, you should have a very clear reason for why customers are going to choose a web experience over the other options that are available to them. So you should have some sort of guiding light that would tell you, okay, you know, maybe I'm working on a social network and so it's really important that I get to market quickly and attract users. Mm -hmm. And then if you don't have sort of some clear reason mm -hmm. um, that with the current state of performance and the current state of the mobile hardware that native would be the better choice. It's hard for me to uh, imagine an application developer uh, who has a situation where deadlines and time to market don't matter. There's always time pressure to get an application done. Mm -hmm. uh, developers should try to make their applications work and then work to make their applications faster if need be. In other words, if the basic features aren't there, mm -hmm. then nobody cares how fast it is. Nobody's going to benchmark it if nobody actually uses the application. And yeah. I think there are millions, literally millions, of uh, web developers who can take some of their uh, creativity and ideas, package them up as applications, and deliver them to consumers. To have those people wondering, gee, uh, should I be doing a native application is, to me, um, kind of ridiculous because you know, they're not going to do native development. You know, mm -hmm. they're, they're web developers.